Hey guys, welcome back. Now, before we get too deep into this traveling adventure and seeing the world, I just wanted to take a second and talk about some of the places I've been. So I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite travel experiences and we have a visual. Woo. Just ignore that. Living with a cat is a nightmare, so. So you can probably see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna take this map, I'm gonna put a pin in everywhere that I've been. So before we get started, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You've got a lot of cool things coming your way, you don't wanna miss any of that cool stuff. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start by putting pins in places that I've lived. So we're gonna put one here in Myrtle Beach, where I am now. And also in Gainesville and Jacksonville, Florida. All right, I'm gonna start from the bottom, and the furthest south I've ever been has been Cozumel, Mexico. Now, part of me doesn't want to put a pin there because I didn't really see Mexico. I, I saw the shopping center of the cruise line built and then swam with stingrays and got back on the cruise. So I didn't really experience Mexico. I'd love to go back and try it again, but I did go there, so it's on the list. Hopefully I'll get to go back and do some more authentic things. Now, speaking of cruises, I've been on several cruises to these next two places, to Freeport and Nassau in the Bahamas. Now I'm just now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna guess where these are because there's no islands on this map. So Bahamas are there. Been to Nassau a bunch of times. Last time we went, we went to the zoo there, which is a cool experience. I'm um, doing something a little different. And then in Freeport, one of my favorite things we've done in Freeport is we went on a kayaking excursion. It was an eight six hour six hour long kayaking trip through the mangrove forest it was absolutely beautiful and so much fun by the way i love cruising so if you guys are interested in stuff like that maybe go ahead and comment below and i'll do some tips and tricks about that so if you're interested in that go ahead and comment below so now we're back in the stakes and we're still starting from the bottom so naturally i used to live in florida i grew up in florida so i've been to a lot of places in florida so we're gonna start with key west the very bottom now key west is one of my favorite places um i'd love to go back can't wait to go back now that i'm older I um, went in high school, so obviously I couldn't, couldn't drink, couldn't take advantage of any of the fun stuff, but I really want to go back now that I'm of age and enjoy some of the things that it has to offer some more. Now anybody who knows me knows I'm a crazy huge Disney fan. I've already done a Disney video on the channel, so go ahead and check that out, I'll link that above. So obviously I'm going to put a pin in Orlando, love Disney World, so I'm going to put one there, I've been there lots and lots of times. I'm gonna put some more pins in some of the places I've been, like Tampa and Cedar Key and places like that. So moving on up to Georgia, um, two of my favorite places I've traveled in Georgia were Savannah, Georgia, which is obviously full of history and beauty and... Another place that's perhaps a little weirder is a town called Helen, Georgia. It's a small little town up in the mountains. And this town decided that it's best shot for tourism and for um, a local economy was to make their town look like a Bavarian village. So this town in the middle of Georgia looks like you're in the middle of Germany. They got bears everywhere. They have an Oktoberfest and everything. It's really, really crazy. So if you're looking for a weird weekend destination, there's one for you, Helen, Georgia. Put a pin there. Now locally, one of my favorite places to go is a quick two hour trip to Charleston. Charleston's, a, again, a great city full of history, lots of cool things to do. It's kind of a cultural center and economic center of the area. There's ruins you can tour, they have national monuments, they have all kinds of stuff there. So you can definitely fill a week of stuff to do in Charleston. A lot of videos about there coming up, so definitely check those out when they come out. I'm just going to fill in a couple gaps. Um, went to Tuscaloosa, Alabama on a um, college tour, so put that on there. But one in Charlotte, North Carolina. Been there a couple times. Carolyn's super fun. Now moving on north, one of my favorite big cities to go to is Washington, D.C. I've been a couple times. It's, it's, uh, it's the capital. And right next door we spent a Christmas in Colonial Williamsburg in Virginia. And that was beautiful, going through the old towns while it's snowing. Super, super fun. If you get a chance, I'd definitely go see it. A lot of history, especially if you're into history, you gotta go see it. And now move up to, of course, the big one, um, the Big Apple, to be precise, and put a pen in New York City. I've been several times. It's one of my favorite cities to go to. Um, I'm a theater nerd. I grew up doing theater, so of course, I love New York City, but I also love just the vibe and the life in the city. And you can tell I'm not from the city because I genuinely like, write, like riding subway. It's fun. You can tell I'm obviously not from New York City. So put a pen there. Now to round it out, I'm just going to put a quick pin on Long Island. 
And I said on Long Island, not in Long Island, because I got so much crap for that when I was up there visiting my friends. I said, I'm in Long Island. No, you're on Long Island. Whatever. And there we have it. Those are the places I've been. So, obviously I have a lot more to cover. Which is actually very, very exciting, because it means there's, I have so much more to explore, so much left to do. Um, so I'm excited to fill up the board with more pens and just get more um, travel under my belt. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date. We've got videos coming out every Friday. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at underscore travel one step. Make sure you check out the blog as well, travelonestep.com. I'll link an article in the description of five southern destinations, a lot of ones I've talked about here. In the comments below, write some of your favorite travel destinations. Who knows, maybe it'll give me an idea of where to go next or inspire some of you to go some places. So go ahead and comment that down below and I'll see you guys next week.